everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, October the 25th. Got Margaret Tollerton with us today from uh, Missouri Curious. Good to have you here, Margaret. Thank you, Paul. Glad to be here. Um, you've got several events coming up that, that Missouri Cures would like to promote, right? I do. I came to promote, um, about three years ago, we started Women in Science and Entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and the um, short for that is WISE. WISE and Women. <clears throat> WISE Women, that's right, you got it. Yeah, very smart ladies <laughs> and, over there. And Good. the last WISE event this year is our largest event, and it's in St. Louis on November 4th at the Union Station this time. I mean, we've outgrown the Danforth Center, so now it's at at Union Station. So what are the wise women going to be talking about at Union Station? A lot about entrepreneurship and being in science as a female um, and different careers um, as a female. Um, a lot of networking and um, we'll have two panels and we're bringing in um, our guest speaker. Um, our keynote speaker is Susan Solomon, mm -hmm. and she is the CEO and founder of the New York Stem Cell Foundation, so she ought to be real interesting. Yeah. Um, and we've got media um, being moderators and, you know, things like that. Now, even though this is called Wise Women, Yes, men, men are welcome. Men yes. are welcome to come to now, this. They, there usually aren't very many, you know, like I think last year we had 10 men, but boy, they asked some really good questions. I mean, that's also the beauty of it. You listen to the speaker and then it opens it up for questions. So mm -hmm. it's definitely geared to be a learning experience. Okay, so if people want to come to this in November, what, November the... 4th. November 4th, how do they get tickets? Do they sign up ahead of time or can they just show up? Both. Right. Um, they can come to our website, MissouriCures.org. They can search Eventbrite. Um, that is where, you know, I have it listed. Or they can come to the door. Either way, we and do the tickets. And is there a charge? There is a charge. Um, $20 general admission and $10 for students. Okay. Um, and again, it's in Union Station, and the, the, the signs for parking will direct where to park. And what time does it start? Um, the morning, 8 a.m. to 9, is networking breakfast, and then the actual program runs from 9 till 1. Okay. All right. So mark it down on your calendar, November the 4th, for the Wise Women program, but men are definitely invited right. to attend this. And then I also wanted to mention, um, since we're going into an election, mm -hmm. um, there is an amendment called Amendment 3 that I'd love to also invite all of your listeners to come to our website, MissouriCures.org, and learn all about Amendment 3. Right. I think there's a, some confusion about the amendment, and uh, on your particular website, you break it down in details. Yes, uh, what do. Amendment Three will do and mm -hmm. will not do. And you can find it our home page. I've got a banner um, across the home page that says, "Click here for more information about." Oh, thank you. Okay. About the Amendment 3. Okay. So, and your your web address is? MissouriCures.org. Right. And keep in mind how much good work Missouri Cures has uh, provided for all of us in the fact that um, almost daily, almost daily, information comes out about new treatments and cures for diseases that years ago were thought in, uh, incurable. Yeah. You're and, right. Yeah. You're right. It's a fantastic. Thank Margaret you so Tolleton, much. Thank you so much for coming by. The website address again is? MissouriCures.org. www.missouricures.org. And don't forget those wise women <laughs> <laughs> in St. Louis and 10 men can go to if they want to. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more than 10 men. Now we're going to find out about uh, an upcoming production at Maple's Rep Theater. And I want to introduce two of the uh, actors and actresses we have Lauren Zakular, mm -hmm. good to have Very you here, good. Lauren, and Patrick Holt. Great to be here. You are here to talk about the production that you're in that opens no October 26th, mm -hmm. and it's called what? 
Nana's Naughty Knickers. <laughs> Nana's Naughty Knickers. That's right. <laughs> what is Nana's Naughty Knickers about? Oh, you got to say that fast uh, several times. Yeah. What's it about? It's kind of a mouthful, of course, but it's actually a really wildly funny farce. It's about um, a young girl named Bridget who goes to say... Are you say, Bridget? I am not Bridget. The lovely Lori Sutton plays Bridget. Oh, the lovely Lori She's Sutton. She's very popular okay. at the rep. Um, so she goes to live with her grandmother for the summer and discovers that her grandmother is running an illegal bootleg lingerie store from her apartment. Oh! <laughs> no, it's not just any lingerie. It's uh, lingerie oh, marketed for senior citizens. It's, it's <laughs> lingerie marketing for senior your citizen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, and grandma is running this from the apartment. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she designs and she sews and she markets. Yeah, she does it all. <laughs> so obviously this is a comedy. Yes. Oh, yes. It's very funny. And what happens then? <laughs> well, I play a, a police officer named Tom, who is sort You're of... You're not going to uh, close him down, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sort of in on it a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sort of the love interest for Bridget, so I kind of help them out, and it takes me, my character, a while to figure out what's going on, but once I do, I'm pretty much on their side, and I help against their landlord, who's not on their side. Well, why does the landlord want to shut it down? Uh, because uh, Sylvia, the Nana, is living on the ground floor, so she has a rent-controlled apartment, and she's had it rent-controlled for a very long time, and he needs to make more money off that apartment, so he wants her out of there any way he can. Oh, okay, so when you live in a rent-controlled apartment, you're... you're Rent stays the same. Yeah, and you're paying. And he wants her to get out so he can charge more people. Yes. Exactly. They're on the Upper East charge Side more in people. New York. Okay. Still. <laughs> and he just found out that she is doing we this business. Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah, it's it's You'll definitely have to come a mystery. And see the show okay. To see <laughs> How if he many finds people out. are in this production? It's about six or seven yeah. people. Uh, it sounds like it's really funny. Oh, it's delightful. When you're preparing for a show like this. Is it difficult to get into the characters that you are playing, or do you feel comfortable? Um, well, my character's pretty straight-laced and also kind of an idiot, so for me it's a, it's a little easier to slip into that kind of a role. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what about your character? Um, well, I play a, a lady named Heather who works for another lingerie store, and there's sort of a, a mix-up with um, some shipments. Mm -hmm. So she comes to the apartment to get her boxes back and then sort of, you know, invites herself to maybe work for Nana instead. Mm -hmm. So um, I connect with her because I think she's, you know, really driven, but she also is quite passionate about lingerie in a way that I haven't been before in life. <laughs> but, um, so it's been a really uh, oh, interesting, sounds, really funny process. It sounds like a really funny show. If you want, <laughs> if you want to get tickets, you can go online. The mm -hmm. web address is... www.maplesrep.com www.maplesrep.com oh, www. <laughs> www mm -hmm. And what's neat is you can you can uh, look at the seating chart, you can pick the tickets you want, mm -hmm. uh, the seats that you want, and you can buy your tickets online. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much for coming by, and best of luck. Break a leg with Nana's, Nana's Naughty Knickers. That's Nailed it. it. <laughs> okay, Nana's Naughty Knickers at uh, <laughs> Maple's Rep Theater. Good luck to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Something you'd like to hear or see on Radio Friends, drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you. It's pepperp at missouri.edu. Bye-bye.